Paw Productions again. Uh, a little bit ago we did a video on uh, me having some bugs in some of my short term rice uh, storage. You know, it happens. But hey, gonna use it for the better good. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna do an experiment on the internet in food storage facts across the web, books, pamphlets, whatever you wanna call them. Everybody always talks about how you can freeze your grains to keep bugs from occurring or showing up or hatching or swarming or flying or infesting or whatever you want to use. What we're going to do is we're going to do a little experiment here. Since we know there's bugs in here because we showed them to you in the earlier video on uh, the part three of uh, food storage results, we're going to see if we can kill these little vermin. What we're going to do is I'm going to take some of this here rice out. I'm going to put it in a Ziploc bag and I'm going to chuck it in a freezer for about three days. Again, all the little food storage facts, all the people on the internet got to freeze it below freezing for like 30 days. Not, I mean, excuse me, I mean three days, sorry. Uh, to guarantee that you're going to kill any larva, bugs, whatever. Uh, I'll probably get a infrared thermometer and show you what the freezer uh, temperature is before I pull that. I don't have it with me right now, but uh, on an early experiment, my freezer was probably about negative 15 so I'm pretty sure it's way cold enough to kill anything uh, so anyway I've already turned around and I shook the heck out of this bucket like you saw yesterday all that rice is all brown and dusty and little cr or little bugs crawling around so I figured I'd get them nice and riled up and crawling around in there and then I'm going to put them in a the bag um, and I'll show you show it to you once it's in the bag but I'm going to rile them up a little bit more Okay, as you can see, it's the same junk from the other day. All the dust and stuff stuck to the sides, all the way down in there. Yep, all up in my fingers. All that nice dust. Yippee skippy. So anyway, I'm gonna have to set you down for a second, so you have to stare at the side of the bucket while I use two hands to fill in this bag, and then I'll show you the bag. bunch of them on the side of the cup there. Alright. I think that should be enough for this. Alright. So I'm going to seal the bag here press out some of this air so I've got room to put it in the freeze. There we go. Alright. Sorry for having to sit you down. But, had to do it. I ain't got three arms yet. But, eating some feed wheat and stuff, I'll probably grow one out of my back sooner or later. But anyway, here's our rice. Nice and brown. I don't see any critters in there, but they're in there. There's a whole bunch of them right there. Hard to see. Wish I had a better way of showing you guys these. If you look at the earlier video, you'll be able to see them, but I can see them clear as day right now in this uh, bag with my own eye. So I apologize for that, but we'll see what happens. Either way, like I said, I'm going to take this bag of rice here, it's probably about close to a little bit over a pound, and we're going to put it in the freezer. We're going to put it in there for about three days, and uh, see if it'll actually kill the bug. I'll take it out, I'll take it out in three days, I'll set it out for three days, you know, let it warm back up or whatever, just like you would before you pack it in your uh, buckets with mylar, and uh, We'll see if it kills them. I'll turn around and dump them out on a white piece of paper or a white uh, bucket lid like this and we'll see if there's any of these little guys crawling around by then. Um, if it kills them, 
then, you know, we all know that it'll kill even live, live ones. If you got rice and you're like this rice we said the other day, there's nothing wrong with it. Besides having a little bit of the dust from the little critters eating away, uh, there's not much else wrong with it. So, you could probably turn around and rinse it off in a strainer in your sink or outside in a bucket dry it off and cook it or cook it right then and there and probably not have any problems at all so we'll see if this works and see if it's one way that could save you from having to throw away uh, some of your short term preps if this happens or even some of your long term stuff if you're wanting to uh, turn around and uh, save it there's a whole bunch of them in that one right in there I don't know if you can see it real good, but see all this right through here? That's nothing but bugs. So, they're in there. So, but anyway, I'm Bob from Paw Productions, and in uh, three days we'll yank this out, um, set it out for three more, and uh, we'll see if this works. And then that way, uh, people can give it a whirl on their own if they got some stuff that's got bugs instead of having to toss it out. Um, like I said, it's really up to you what you want to do with it, but I figured was instead of just throwing it out or giving it to the livestock, might as well do a little experiment with it. So, like I said, six days. We'll see if the rice is good to go and see if the critters are dead. I'm Bob from Paw. Keep the comments coming, fellas, and I'll see you in six days. Hey, everybody. It's been three days now. Just took the rice out of the freezer and see if you can, I don't know if you can see them in here, but all underneath there's all the bugs. It seems like they all settled to the bottom trying to get out. So, all right, I'll let this sit out for two or three days and then uh, I'll shake everything down on a piece of white uh, paper or a white plate or something. Try to uh, separate some of these bugs from this rice and then we'll... Uh, See if they're alive or dead, if they move. So, see you in another day or two.